She is from Catia Lamar, Venezuela. Marie Angel Perez joining us in Walk with the Wolves as we get set for volleyball season. Something that is near and dear to Walk with the Wolves hearts, especially when you have an outside hitter with the capability of this young woman. You're a sophomore, you just arrived on campus, you had a, a massive opening weekend with CSU Pueblo, but you look at your story and what it took to arrive on campus. Let's go back to being 11 years old, to being in Venezuela. Your family, they, they were big sportsmen growing up, but you had no idea that the game of volleyball was in your future until what happened? So, uh, the first time was funny because I never played like volleyball. So, I was with my mom in a gym. So, one coach from volleyball told me that, oh, do you want to play volleyball? And that's like, uh, I can't imagine playing volleyball because I, I didn't know nothing about volleyball, you know? So, but right now, it's like uh, my life, my passion. So. Everything's like a shame. So volleyball shame is like like just it's all that it's all that matters in in a sports standpoint, but it's opened up so many doors. You look at academically. Mm -hmm. You're a communications major. She yeah. is going to take my job, it is happening. <laughs> yeah. But it, it, it's it's opened up your eyes to the world. Can you believe that, that a sport has so much possibility? Yeah. I know like that's why I told you that the volleyball to me like changed my life that so much and thanks to the like i have like a, so many opportunity thanks to the volleyball so that's why i'm here you know for my great volleyball yeah. you grew up in an athletic family yeah mom dad yeah, my brother your yeah. brother but your mom on the other hand what was she doing uh she practiced boxing you, you just were trying to ignore that okay yeah growing boxing. up, growing up no, with, a, with a mom as a boxer i know why you're tough now but how tough is mom oh she's like a uh five she's five foot yeah. but what do those arms look like for, for mama yeah, Perez. She's <laughs> but she takes you with her well, she was training when yeah. you were young and then one of the coaches looks at you and says oh she's going to be a volleyball yeah, player yeah a volleyball you're, player and you're 11 <laughs> you're year old, but you're like what are you talking about i don't even know what this sport is how quickly did your life change um well at the first i was practicing basketball but i don't like it because it's like too many touches and you didn't want the elbows no i was no. so skinny and um, yeah <laughs> and the, when in my first practice of volleyball, it's like, a, oh my God, yeah, I, I like volleyball and I want to be like better every day. So, let's see. But, but people don't understand in this country how hard it is to be in South America or Europe, wherever, and want to have a collegiate career. How do you explain the journey and the difficulty and, and going from outside of Caracas, Venezuela, to uh, junior college in Iowa and now CSU Pueblo. I know that that's crazy. Like I have one friend in Miami that he always like help me, and my coach you know not him like it's Kiko from Miami Day. Yeah. Um, who's, who's really good friends with the assistant yeah, coach from Willis mm -hmm. at CSU Pueblo. And he always like talk to me like you in it, you need like stay here, I stay here, play here. It's like so good. When I was in Grayson University, like, and I, I, I finished, he told me that you need to be in a better university. You know? And I was looking for a, a full scholarship, yeah. you know, because it's like too difficult, like pay university, you know, here, because I'm not from here and it's not like my money, you yeah. know, so, and that's, that's why like I'm way too, two years from be here, you know, because I was looking for a full scholarship and that's it, I'm, I'm yeah. here. Still just a sophomore though, has those three years of eligibility at CSU Pueblo and volleyball has, has opened up so many doors academically, athletically in the U.S. But from a travel standpoint, you have an itinerary that, I, that I've never seen, the places you've traveled to. Yeah. You spent 20 days in Cuba playing yeah. volleyball. What was that experience like? I think the people is so nice, you know, because they, I think because they always uh, be the same. You know, it's not like in Venezuela. In Venezuela, we have like a, a poor people, middle people, rich people. But I think that the people here, it's always the same. Mm -hmm. So, and they are so nice. Venezuela has a great relationship with Cuba, but when you look at your homeland, I know one of the, the difficulties right now are some of the, the warring cartels and the, and the drug violence. 
you must worry about your family a lot. How much yeah. does the current situation in Venezuela uh, run its course on your family, mind? I think my family, like, every single day. Like, they are to me, like, the most important thing. But right now, I know, like, they are so happy because I'm here, you know? I'm a little sad because I'm here in the, the I am Venezuela, but it's my future, you know, so. But they're still yeah. engaged. Your, your dad cracks me up because he's on the Go Thunderwolves live staff, checking in <laughs> yeah. on your play. So yeah, that's true. <laughs> the, the match ends in, in, in Pueblo or wherever in the Armac, and uh -huh. then it ends. And he, know, does he call uh, you or do you yeah. call him? How's that work? Uh -huh. He know like everything about like volleyball, he basketball, baseball. He's like, I don't know, he loves a sport. So he know like everything about NCAA, for real. <laughs> And he's gonna have a lot of time to be engaged in your stats, your scores. You've got three years of eligibility left. Uh, when, when you look at what your goals are, being on campus and, and being involved in the international student campaign on campus at CSU Pueblo, wh where do you see yourself at this campus with your your goals in life and how it ties into CSU Pueblo? Well, at the first time, like, like I'll be here. My first practice, I I used to like a good team. Uh, great coaches and my first thing like uh, I need to work hard like yeah. every day every single day that's my like my first goal and it's still really hard too you know, because yeah. I'm still here and play work so. but you do it both you're multitasking and then that's going to put you on camera after you graduate TV career with communication what's what's the mass communication goal once you get that degree I like media uh-huh <laughs> yeah, like sports yeah, media. Like, yeah. like maybe you want to be the face like, of, like of <laughs> maybe like you want to be the face of Walk with the Wolves in a couple of years. Watch out. Good luck with everything. What an exciting start to your career, and, and the best is yet to come. Right, this is only a taste of what you're capable of with this school and university. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Good. This is Walk with the Wolves All Access with CSU Pueblo Athletics.